Oh my God, that was a morning for the record books. So Jesse has been sick for like five days. And, <clears throat> oh, sorry, it's been really hard this morning. This, this school has been giving me a hard time because she missed five days because she had this really bad cough. And so the last couple of days, you know, she's gotten flip-flopped and, oh my gosh, you guys, she was so combative. Like yesterday, I couldn't even get her to go to school. Joe's out of town this week. <laughs> Normally he could help me or take her to school later or something like that, but it, that's not an option today or yesterday. And so this morning, I mean, I'm not kidding you. It took me, I have, I'm sure I have bruises at this point because she was so combative. She did not want to get up. She did not want to get dressed. She did not want to come down the stairs, but I was determined to put that child on that school bus today. And thank God Umberto waited for me like five extra minutes because like first I got her, I got her dressed. And then, and then like a half hour later, I got her to the sink and then I started getting her down the stairs. And then finally, when the buses start arriving, the two later buses, I got her all the way to the mudroom with her coat on and I couldn't get her out the door. It was just like, I've never seen anything like it. And God bless her. You know, this is autism at its finest, but I, oh my gosh. And then Metro Access came in the midst of it and they like didn't understand and she kept blocking me in and and even when I finally I told her I said look I've got I had to come in the driveway behind her after taking the two girls and I said just let me get Jessie in the van and she was like starting to back up she wasn't even listening and I had to get like I had to mom her right and so finally she got the she got the message she saw me come out with Jessie but we did it I got her on the bus thanks to Umberto waiting for me and in the, the, um, the driver, she says, honey, you need a PCA. It's like, okay, I know. <laughs> My husband usually helps me, but he's, he's out of town. And I, still, days like this don't happen very often. But boy, when they do, it is crazy town. And as much as I would like to have filmed that for you, I kind of had my hands full. <laughs> so maybe next time. <laughs> I hope there isn't a next time, but so Jesse's off to school for the first time and you know, over a week and a half, we had some days off, which helped her. But you know, this cough that's been going around, Joe's on round two now. He's in, he's in Orlando this week. He'll be, he'll be home soon. But um, by the time you see this video, he'll already be home. Thank God. One more day. I think I have, but you guys have a good day. I am going to go take a shower, take my dog out have some breakfast, and then I'm going to go out and have myself a day today. I think I need a break. <laughs> Too much fun. Okay, bye. So guys, here's Bethany's bedroom. And the vacuum cleaner is there because look, her day bed came. I promised her this day bed and it arrived. I got it at um, Joss and Maine, which is, you know, a Wayfair company. Thank God for them. They're so inexpensive I paid like less than four hundred dollars for this thing it's a gray velvet and she's gonna be so excited this is the this is the cover that we had made a long long time ago for it Hannah used to have that as her bed at our old house and so all that stuff kind of goes together here's the pieces and parts and I slept this thing up the stair whoa <laughs> I just tripped over the over the uh, metal parts there but I schlepped this thing up the stairs all by myself yesterday I couldn't even believe it it's not that heavy it was just awkward but I got the pieces and parts up here and I'm thinking she and I can maybe put this together later on today and I'm gonna take a break like I said earlier I'm gonna take a break and go out shopping and I think I'm gonna try to find some inexpensive really big fluffy pillows to put on there so that she and the girls can have a like a comfy sofa to sit on when they're hanging out up here and she'll be so surprised and um and I think she's gonna really love this the kids will really love it so we're gonna we're gonna put that together today but there's her beds it seems like you know overkill for one kid I know but when you think about this I mean we already had the expensive parts of it and it's gonna the room is plenty big enough as you can see, and it just, 
what it does, it just gives us one extra spot if we have a lot of company or whatever, and uh, gives the kids a place to hang out in their bedroom without sitting on the bed, and I think it'll be great. So they're looking forward to it, and we're going to get that put together very soon. So that was awesome. First stop, and I got like everything I needed for Bethany's room. She's going to be excited. They had um, a big sale in there today at Pier 1, and so I got all these big fluffy, she likes those real soft fluffy pillows, and they just had all the right colors and everything, so when she gets home from school, she can help me put her room together. I think she's going to like it. I want a little tiny thing for the dining room. This is my indulgence, you guys, when I go out and run around. I like to buy things for the house, you know, when I get the chance, but it's my, it's my thing. But um, it's funny because just as I was getting ready to go in there, I got a call from Obed School. And don't you know the little bugger threw up this morning? So they're going to kind of keep an eye on him. He doesn't seem to have a fever or anything. But, geez, you know, you go for like a week or two weeks, and then all of a sudden she called me up and I said, Don't you, don't you dare. It's my first day. Don't you dare. It's the first chance I've had to get out. So she's like, We'll keep him. We've got clothes, you know. Bless her heart. So that, that has worked out really well. So on to our next stop. So I've kind of run out of time today. I wanted to make sure that I had gone out and gotten a nice sit down lunch to uh to take a break i really did need that today so sometimes i have to force myself into doing things like that you know i have just a few hours each day two o'clock just rolls around so fast and you know i have all these errands to run all the time and everything but i had wanted to go into walmart to get bethany some socks she desperately needs socks that poor kid and uh, i decided i'm just going to wait and do that another day that the lunch was more important today. Maybe I'll take some time to stop at Starbucks or something on the way home. I have just about that much time. But um, but anyway, the thing, I wanted to clarify some things about this morning's incident with Jesse. Um, you know, what happens, uh, these kids with autism, they, like in Jesse's case, okay, she gets her days and nights mixed up because of her sleep disorder. Now, this is a this is a bona fide neurological condition that Jesse has. It's not like a lot of you say to me, you know, can't you just change up her routine or can't you, you know, just not let her take a nap or can't you just, you know, make sure she gets to bed at the right time. But it's not, a, it's not behavior related. So Jesse, she does stay on a good routine as much as we possibly can do. But she ha it is a bona fide neurological condition. So there is just absolutely nothing you can do about it when it hits. Now, the melatonin does work really well for her. And fortunately, um, you know, fortunately, she doesn't have nearly as many issues as she has in the past, which I'm very grateful for. But, um, but what happened this morning when I said that she's combative you know, I'm trying to transition Jessie and make her do something that, that she doesn't want to do. And to get her to try, you know, to wake up out of a sound sleep and understand that now she has to go to school and we've only got so much time, you know, to do that or whatever, the, the combative behavior, what she does is she kicks me and she'll scratch and she'll bite and she'll pinch. And usually I do not allow her to get to that point. In other words, when she starts to behave like that, I don't push her. I will just let her, you know, either sleep in or stay home that day or whatever, because as a nonverbal, you know, autistic child, I think that that's a way that she's trying to communicate with me. Well, what happened is these letters, these emails and texts and messages from the school that were saying, you know, you, you have to um, call the school right away and develop a, an attendance plan. I thought that was quite inappropriate, but, um, you know, and I understand it was just an automatic thing. And I get a little bit, you know, defensive, I think when things like that happen, because, we do work very hard and we try very hard to do things right and doing things right for these kids is very, very important to me. And so I, I get my, you know, feathers ruffled sometimes, but, and I don't mean to do that, but I did, 
I did send an email to the school and to their credit, they responded very quickly to me and the, um, the truant officer there in charge of the school showed me how to do that so that this never happens again. And, uh, I'm going to use the automated system from now on. And he understands that because of her condition, you know, that she should have I guess just that extra measure of grace and they're not going to, they're not going to worry about that five day rule anymore. So, um, because I tell you to, to get into a battle with your child like that, it really is no good for anybody and she could get her and I could get her and it's just, it's not worth it. So, um, you know, I, it is what it is, but anyway, they did take care of it. So I'm very relieved and I'm very thankful for that. And, um, you know, tomorrow's another day. We'll try it again. And, but I think if we, if we go through that tomorrow, I think she's going to have another long weekend. So I do call the school every time the kids are sick. I always call attendance and, you know, and tell them they want to know all the, details of what's wrong with them and you know they keep track of all that so I think what happens you know I become sometimes very apologetic and I don't think that I always explain myself the way people can understand what I'm saying and so I think some of it might be my fault that when I call they can't figure out if it really is a medical situation or something else. And so what happened is they had been marking those absences as unexcused where, you know, she had a bad cough. I thought I was trying to explain that to them. But so I think that's where the confusion came in. They're not unexcused absences when, you know, obviously when somebody's sick, but I have this, um, very strange, like false sense of guilt, I think. And so I, you know, I tend to over explain things. Maybe that's what I'm doing right here right now is over explaining things. But I just wanted to explain to you guys, I do call in and everything. But now with this automated system, there's just a code that um, they want me to put in, you know, a medical code every time. So there won't be any more questions about that with Jesse. Oh, Ben, my man, how are you feeling? You look like you're so much better. Look at you, you're all happy. You don't look like you're sick. You had a good day. And what did you say to mom when you got off the bus? Did you say hi? Did you say hi to mom? You did, I have two witnesses. I have two witnesses, the bus drivers, both of them heard him. He said, hi, he's so cute. <laughs> Didn't you bud? I'm glad you're not sick, buddy. Oh, we don't need any more of that. Yes, your dad called me today. He's in Orlando. He skipped his classes, and he's he's sick again, you guys. Oh, my gosh, he's sick again. <laughs> this is not good. Winter time. So a PCA, as the uh, Metro Access driver suggested that we we get a PCA is a personal care attendant. I know some of you are going to ask that question and uh, Jesse and Obed both qualify for personal care attendants under the Medicaid waiver. And in Virginia, when a, um, when a kid turns 18, the parents are allowed to become the personal care attendant. So in Jesse's case, I am her PCA and I can assure you, I don't think anybody could have done that um, this morning any better than I did, but it would be nice to have help. And at some point, you know, at some point we will do that. We'll either bring on a second person or something. We'll figure something out when it's needed. Uh, this was such an unusual situation that we don't feel that it's really necessary just yet. But uh, most days we do just fine. And um, in Obed's case, you know, he's not, I mean, he does qualify. We may very well hire someone for him, but um, Bethany's a big help for him. Hey, Sleeping Beauty, did you have a good day after all that? Mm, yes. You want to love me? Oh, I felt so bad this morning, my sweet princess. Yeah. You, kind of look, you look like you're about ready to fall asleep again, though, Jess. Oh, dear. Mm, uh. <laughs> uh-huh. What do you think? Huh? Cheerio time. Snack time. I'm glad you still like me after all that. After I 
forced you to go to school. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. Did you have music today? Jesse girl? Mm -hmm. Did you have music therapy today? We think you did. Are you in a sensory uh, sensory <laughs> trap with my with my teeth there, kid? <laughs> we sure love our Jesse, don't we? Oh, princess, we're gonna have a better day tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Are we gonna have a better day tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Hi. 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 Boy, I got a high out of two kids today. He did. Can you, he said hi, just like that when he got off the bus. No, but the drivers, I got two witnesses. The driver and the attendant, both of them heard him. Loud and clear as a bell. It was awesome. There's my Bethany. We have a treat for you. Oh, did I get a high out of you, too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, we have a treat for you because you're such an awesome daughter. Yeah. You know that? Yep. You took everything upstairs. You better not have peeked in those nope. bags. Nope, nope. Because that's going to be a surprise for later. We can take your brother's shoes and paraphernalia yeah. upstairs. Yeah. So you want to know where I went besides Pier 1? Yeah. So let's see. From Pier 1, where did I go after that? I went to, oh, you know what? I stopped by um, the garden center. Yeah. But because they have like a really cool little gift shop in there, but mostly all they had was like stuff left over from Christmas that they oh. were selling at a real cheap price, but I wasn't interested in that stuff. And so I was only there for a few minutes. And from there, where did I go after that? Oh, I went to HomeSense yeah. and I poked around that store for a little bit. Didn't Again, didn't see anything that we needed to bring home. And then from there I went to lunch. I went to Guapo's and had Mexican food again just because I needed some place on my path yeah. to sit down. And yeah. so I did that. And then from there I had a real quick minute. I was going to go to um, Starbucks, yes. but I decided instead yes. to just stop in uh, World Bazaar to look at some baskets. So I was on a mission today, Bethany. <laughs> That's a home great. decor get her done kind of mission because you haven't been out since a long time, a long time. <laughs> yeah a long time so i made the most of it but it went by fast and you know what i wanted to do what? i wanted to go to walmart and get you some socks yeah because you know how i promised you i was going to get you some new socks yes i'll do that either tomorrow or one day next week because i ran out of time <laughs> sound That's good okay. yeah okay you can take those upstairs yep and then hopefully we'll have time to do you know, put your bed together, your day bed, your sofa bed. Okay. See ya. Oh, what are you blind or something? Boy, that just never gets old, does it? So the good news is, um, this is the next day now. Jessie, she got up. She was happy as a lark. She slept all night, and she went to school with no problems at all. It was like, boy, what a difference a day makes, you know? So. It just, it just was great. It was like a whole completely different deal. But Obed, Obed's actually sick again. Yes, I sent him to school for two days and then he got sick again. He Last night he was throwing up again and he's got the diarrhea again. And I mean, anything that's going on, if there's a bug to be had, he's gonna have it. He's gonna pick it up and bring it home. So he's upstairs sleeping. I'm pumping um, a Pedialyte into him today and uh, just gonna do some housework and hang around and take care of the little guy. And I'll probably get him all mended over the weekend and then try to send him to school again on Monday and see what happens. But I hope that these winter bugs are quickly going to be a thing of the past. Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and i failed So can we work it out? Only time will tell Why do you, why do you keep telling me nothing? Boy, these are the easiest directions in the world, I guess Maybe I shouldn't say that too soon. I should wait until it's all the way put together, but they're very simple instructions. And I decided to just 
go ahead and put this thing together or at least try to by myself because I'm I'm up here anyway with Obed today he's right across the hall resting and um, I like to be kind of close to him and I thought well you know I'll just get this done since Joe's not feeling well and um, Bethany will be surprised when she comes home so so far I have done this completely by myself it didn't take me 15 minutes you guys and to be perfect, I mean, it's the easiest thing I've ever seen. The instructions are so clear and simple. But, um, but you know, I think, and ladies, you'll appreciate this, I think it might have taken me less time uh, than if I had waited for Joe, if you know what I mean. So I had that front piece on backwards. It just took me a few minutes to flip it over. And I could tell by the nap of the fabric that it was running the wrong way. And then I noticed that the frame, the inside frame where the slats rest was, was too low. But I've got it all on there right. And I'm going to tighten up all these screws and all that. And I only had huh, one battle scar. I pushed the thing down and pinched my finger. And don't you know, I dripped blood on the carpet 14 years. And I've, you know, we've kept this carpet perfectly clean. And then I go and drip blood on the thing but I think I got that cleaned up too <laughs> oh the price we pay Ta-da! now to just get Jesse's old mattress that's the base of it and uh, we'll make up that bed and you guys will see the finished product there you go guys it's all finished and we're ready for Bethany's big reveal she'll be home from school very soon I really like the way this turned out I hope she's as happy with it as I am. It looks too cute. She's got like a little bird theme going on here. As you can see, there's little birds and flowers and all the things that you would expect in a young lady's bedroom. So I really like it. Even her bathroom in here. Even here she has birds on her shower curtain and little egg soaps up in her up in her soap container there, her decorative soap container. She doesn't care about that stuff nearly as much as I do, but she likes the comfort level and the um, and the entertainment level because she's already looking forward to having a sleepover with her sisters. Lots of room for everybody, still room to walk around. I really like it. Very useful. And that's Jessie's old mattress. It's not ended up in a landfill somewhere. And like I said, we had the bedding and everything, so why not just go that extra mile and, you know, have an extra, extra place there. So she'll be home. I can't wait till she gets here. Hello, girls. Hi, Mom. Are we going to do Bethany's? Sitting room, bedroom reveal. Yep, we are. Come check it out. Okay. I'll leave you guys. <laughs> Let Bethany go first. Okay. All right. All right. What do you think, Bethany? Ooh. It's, there's a soft blanket. Uh huh. That's a throw. That's a throw. Do you like it? Yeah. Does it look cozy? Yes. Hannah might not like that one. She'll have to sit on the other side. <laughs> um. <laughs> Pillows. You trying to find the sofa, Abs? Yeah. Yeah. These are pillows. Yes. Different ones. Uh huh. Different ones. This one has pictures of birds on it, Bethany. It goes with your theme. <laughs> your bird theme. Because I have a bird um, on the dresser. You're a bird on the dresser. <laughs> the, the, the bird cage. Yes, you have a bird cage and you have pictures of birds. Abby, where are you going, oh, sweetie? Store. It's over here, babe. <laughs> you girls want to sit on there and see if it's comfortable? Sure. Hannah, you remember you used to have a day bed when you were a little kid. Yeah. As your main bed, right? Mm -hmm. Go sit next to your sister. We're afraid to tell. Oh. Okay. Here? Yeah. And you can sit right back on it. Make yourselves comfortable. Okay. You can go all the way back. Look at Bethany looks like Edith Ann again. You might have to do crisscross applesauce back there. Oh, it's deep, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, is it comfy cozy? Yeah, it is. The girls think you could have some nice nice chats on the bed, on the sofa bed. Yeah. yeah. Can we 
we sleep on it? You can. It is a bed. Yeah, it's a twin size bed. That's Jesse's old mattress. Wow. Are those cushions nice and cozy, Bethany? Yep. Now, do you like that throw? Yeah. Okay. Show me. Um, show me your favorite pillow in the whole bunch. Is that your favorite? Yeah. I knew that it would be. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you would like that one. Show it to Hannah see if she likes it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my. Oh. I, did, I didn't take the tags off yet. It's it's nice. It's nice? Yeah. You don't mind that shaggy fuzzy, Hannah? Um, hey, no offense, but... Um, it's not for you? Yeah. Well, that's okay, because it's not for you. It's for Bethany. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she'll use that pillow. Yeah. Yeah. Abby, do you want to sit up on the sofa with the girls? I'm right. Oh, you got me. You, you might we're not, uh, not going to mess with Jessie. She's in her room chilling. I don't know if she wants to come in here or not. She would have a heyday with those pillows, I think. My star. What do you think, Abs? Oh. Oh, it's nice. Is it nice? Yes. Do you like sitting on there? Is it comfy? Yeah. You think your girls could hang out in there? Yeah, we could. Yeah, you look pretty comfortable right now. <laughs> All right, well, there it is. As promised. Yeah. How long did it take to get, to get it done today? It, all together, it took me pretty much all day. <laughs> I mean, I did some laundry and I was hanging out with Obed and I took care of Arnie and all that kind of stuff. But, but in between, it's pretty much all I did today. Wow. But that's okay. Now Dad doesn't have a project as soon as he gets off the plane. He has landed and he is coming home. Wow. Yay. Woo! That was a long week. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fish. What do you want to fix? Mm -hmm. What? Look up here. What do you want to fix? Uh. The mudroom bathroom flusher. Oh, the mudroom bathroom flusher. Yeah. It, that is something Dad does need to fix. It broke. Look up, Abby. Oh, no. Oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. Oh, storms. <laughs> um, Abby, you're a hoot. Dad oh. can fix that one. You are a hoot. You girls are three peas in a pod right there. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all enjoy. I'm going to go find your, your sister. All right. Hi, Dad. What are you guys doing? We're s having a sleepover in Bethany's room. Why? Because Bethany just got a trundle bed. Uh, you mean a day bed? Yeah, a day bed. Yeah. And, and so she has room for more multiple sleeping arrangements in her room now? Yeah. Yeah. And so you guys are all going to sleep in there tonight? Yep. As and a sleepover? Night. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun. I know, right? Bethany? Yes. What are you doing? Uh, I've got to have a sleepover with the girls. Did you invite the girls over? Yes. To your room? Yes. Okay. All right. It sounds good. Well, we'll we'll get you guys when you're all uh, all tucked in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hi, Abby. Hi, Dad. Are you ready to have a sleepover in Bethany's room? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You're in her day bed now, aren't you? Yeah. You're breaking it in first time. Okay. All right. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Dad. I love you. Love you too, Dad. Hannah? Yes? I'm I, over here. I see that. <laughs> Are you ready to hang out in Bethany's room tonight? Yes, I am. And do a sleepover? Yep. Is it very exciting? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Are you gracing her with your presence? Yeah. Cool. You got your phone all set up? Yep. Because you're going to get up at dark 30? 8 a.m. 8 a.m. sharp? Yep. For your morning cups of coffee? Yep. Two of them. Two cups. Yep. And all then right. breakfast and then followed by a shower. <laughs> okay. I guess that's your routine, right? Yes. And then there is Bethany. Uh-huh. Famous for her cocoon sleeping. <laughs> Are you happy to have some guests tonight in your room? Yep. Sleeping over? Yep. And you set up Bethany's, or uh, um, Abby's bed for her? Yep. In your day bed. It's very sweet of you. 
Thanks. All right, guys. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night, Abby. Good night, Abby.